I'm grateful, Judge. We have a president who believes in the power of prayer, which is just one of the many reasons people of faith continue to support him overwhelmingly. But yesterday in the Oval Office, one of the things the president said to me is tomorrow he wants us to be focusing on the victims of Hurricane Harvey, but he also wants us to be praying for our nation as a whole. And so I yesterday in the Oval Office, in my prayer, I noted that our country has been bitterly divided for decades, yeah. not just months, as some would have you think, but yeah. for many decades. And I thank God that he has given us a president like Donald Trump, who sincerely wants to bring people together. And Judge, we're seeing people coming together in the aftermath of this storm. It's our job to pray and to continue to work to ensure that this unity we're experiencing right now continues. And that's what the president wants. You know, Pastor, we're a country founded on the Judeo-Christian ethics. And, yes. you know, we need to go back to our founding fathers and the foundation of who we are. And it's it's very interesting that a president who has taken so much heat for everything from <laughs> he didn't go soon enough, he went too soon, he didn't touch people, he didn't touch people, yes. you know, and all that, that garbage uh, is the one to bring us back to the realization that this is who we are as Americans, and this is what God wants for us. He is, he is a lot more religious than most expected. Is he, is he more religious than even you thought? Well, no, I've known him for two years, and I tell you, people would be surprised to know what you and I know about him. But I can't tell you, Judge, the number of times I've been with him that he's asked me to pray for him. Yeah. One time we were in Trump Tower, I was leading a meeting on his behalf. I was going through the agenda, and he stopped me. He said, Pastor, don't you think we ought to pray first? I mean, he had to remind the pastor to pray. This is a side of the president most people don't know, but we're seeing it demonstrated tomorrow that he wants our nation to pray. He believes God honors a nation that will reverence him and turn to him in prayer. And I'm so grateful for a president like that. I have to tell you, Pastor, you're giving me goosebumps because it is so real. It is who we are. It yeah. is, you know, who we are as Americans. We are the most charitable people on earth. And yes. the fact that the president is bringing us together to pray for those who've lost loved ones, who have lost all of their physical uh, belongings is, uh, is so powerful. And it it was interesting, you know, when he said he doesn't remember the last time we had a national day of prayer. Do you? Yeah. I, I, I don't remember where it was. And, Judge, I don't remember a time when a president had religious leaders in the Oval Office with their heads bowed in prayer. I've been with him twice in the last month in the Oval Office. Here is the most powerful person in the world, President Trump. But he's not too proud to bow his head in the Oval Office and ask for God's blessing. That's why every American should be encouraged. And, again, that's why people of faith absolutely love this president. Man.